Well, students at Millersville University will start their second week of classes tomorrow. However, for one student, it's going to only be her second day. Fox 43's Logan Perrone shares how she found her way back to campus and the support system that made it happen. We're like peas in a pod, like we're very, very close. Losing a loved one is never easy. But it was definitely very shocking because it was it all happened so fast and I was not expecting that at all. Millersville University junior Mackenzie Wagner lost her mom suddenly to stage four pancreatic cancer last April. This is something I never expected. I never expected to lose a parent. Financial hardships hit Wagner's family and she could not enroll for the new semester until a $5,224 balance was paid in full. I was still trying to figure out what I could do if I could get loans. Like I was trying really hard, but I just sat down one day and I was like, God, if this is where I'm supposed to be, you're going to provide. A friend's mom stepped in, starting a GoFundMe. This was uh, Tuesday night. Then the next day I started getting obsessed and looking at it all through the course of the day. And we had reached over $2,000. In just a few days, donations surpassed the amount Wagner needed to get back to class. See, seeing how happy Mackenzie was and just the relief, you know, on her face. It was very good to see. For Miller, helping Mackenzie was more than just a nice gesture. It was personal. My father died from pancreatic cancer when I was 10, and I understand the struggle. Wagner says she was shocked. It was really insane to see that because I just didn't think that that was possible for so much people, for so many people to care. Miller plans to keep the GoFundMe going as Wagner follows in her mom's footsteps to become a teacher. So I'm going to get a teaching job and I've already had people offer because they know my mom is a teacher and they um, were like, we'd love to give you a job here. If you're anything like her, we know that you'll be amazing. In Millersville, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News.